really have to find your footing as a team. Yeah, I think for some teams, the sooner the better, B.A. That makes a coach relax a little bit. But for the most part, you're talking about 30 games into the year when all of a sudden you start to feel like the identity has established, the roles are clear, and you're going to start really digging in on how deep you can get into the playbook. Now let's take a look at the Kings' opening lineup. They've got Russell Westbrook, and it's Wade in at the two. And for the Timberwolves. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. One thing the Kings got when they hired Mike Brown is a coach who's been through and seen it all with his NBA coaching experience. When it comes to Mike Brown, he's been an assistant or a head coach for six different teams now, Brent. Yeah, that's a, a lot of different kitchens to be in NBA. And as an assistant, he's worked for great coaches, Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr, Rick Carlisle. It's a great group of coaches to draw upon and then add his own styles in and what he wants to do with this Kings team moving forward. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Here's Wade. He played a great game against Charlotte. Pass to Barry. Down to five on the shot clock. Wilkins with a rebound. Right side, Hardaway. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Ibaka, good. Yeah, and Ibaka is about as physical as you get for a big man in the NBA. Outside Hardaway. And there's the lob. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Ibaka. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a handle. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. It's really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Hardaway against Westbrook. Hardaway, the pass to Embiid. Five on the clock. Hardaway. And down it goes. Jam that one home. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now here's Bryant. Coming off a solid outing against Memphis. Here's Wilkins. Oh! Nice one-handed slam right there. And he's battling for everything, doing all he can to help extend their lead. <laughs> Just throwing down the putback with authority. Uh, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area, and so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, That's attack it. mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Tone setting right here early. Love that tenacity. Hardaway, the pass to Embiid. Pass to Bryant. Six to shoot. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And the Timberwolves with possession here. It's good. Now that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Pass to Wade. Here's Gasol. Poke loose. Here's Wade, covered by Bryant. Here's Wade. That shot missing. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Bryant from deep three-point land. They get it back. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. Second team foul. And he drops a first. At the line for the Timberwolves. Maurice. 
And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Kings trailing. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout. called by Sacramento. Coming off a win against the Hornets. Yeah, and that one came down to their rebounding. There was a big gap between the two teams there. Yeah, I'm not sure if their last game was a basketball game or a wrestling match, the way they went about it. Just so physical and dominated there. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You look at Sacramento, they currently hold the fourth best record in the conference. And of course, the Timberwolves, only two spots back. Well, I think for the Kings, it really hasn't been the dominant season they were hoping for. But they're still in the hunt for a high postseason seed. Well, the goal is very defined. You have to have a strong finish to the season and make sure they get home court advantage for at least the first few rounds of the playoffs. Pass to Barry. Here's Wade, covered by Bryant. Now here's Gasol. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And now we're looking at the toughest defenses around the league. Number one, Sacramento. Minnesota, second. Both teams really take pride in their defense and shutting one another down, which is kind of refreshing to see in a league widely dominated by offense. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Brian, no good. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And the basket by Westbrook. Westbrook. So challenging for anybody, not just guards, to match Westbrook in his physicality. Here's Wilkins. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Joel Embiid. Pass to Lucas. Throws it up high. Woo! I just love that alley slam. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Here's Westbrook. From the top of the key, he buries it. Westbrook's got six. Yeah, Westbrook came off of that pick and roll with good intentions and got a good result. Pass to Bryant from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. And here's Gasol. Embiid covers. And a foul Gasol. called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Joel Embiid. Pau Gasol still remains an offensive threat for this basketball team, expanding his range over time and still has that nice soft jumper. So the Kings making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. For the performance on the offensive end, he's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. Here's Hardaway to the wing on the left. Inside, Homer. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he makes the first. And that's good as he hits both shots. A uh, big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Irving. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Yep, that one's good. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far, that's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job and help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead. And then their guard gets let down. Irving for three. Sacramento grabs the miss. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. Here's Barry. It's stolen away. Hardaway against Irving. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And we know it's still early, but they're getting destroyed on the boards. Pass to Dandridge. 
Back to Hardaway. Here's Dandridge. Here's Barry. He was another key contributor in that win against Charlotte. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Irving. Another miss by Irving. Hardaway against Irving. Shoots off the step back. Got a piece of it. Pass to Lucas. Tipped away. Shot clock at six. Here's Houston. Again, the Timberwolves score. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed the tee and the blanket because he's putting this one to bed. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Down low. Ooh, good finish at the rack on the slick feed. And the Timberwolves lead by 13. Pass to Barry. Back to Hardaway. Here's Coleman. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his first foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution. A minute 50 left in the first. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Pass to Houston. To the inside. Wilkins. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, just dominating, controlling that spot. He can't get that one to fall. So Sacramento will take it the other way. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Coleman. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Sees his man. Threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Back to Irving. Here's Houston. That three's off the mark. And Sacramento shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Hardaway, no good. Minnesota shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. Wilkins, good. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Irving. Count the basket. Irving's got six. Kyrie just has nasty grips on that basketball. Cuts through the defense that time. For three, Hardaway. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. How about the way they've attacked the paint? Ready to move? to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Well, guys, we've seen a confident-looking Timberwolves team out there. Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. They've got Joel Embiid. Kobe Bryant is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Hardaway in at the two-guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. Pass to Kemp. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Now Gasol. And here's Collins. Now Gasol. Last game for him, he picked up 13. And the foul on Serge Ibaka. That's his third foul of the game. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Westbrook against Tardaway to the middle. Here's Kemp. Ooh, great D that time from Ibaka. And here's Westbrook. 
In his last outing, 16 points for him. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And Brent, we hear talk about teams finding their identity. For those that don't know, can you break down what that really means? Well, one of the key things, B.A., is you come out of a training camp in any given year. You're trying to find the right rotation of players and combinations of players that's going to establish what it is that you're capable of doing. And 30 games into the season, that identity can start to show itself. Great coaches in the league will adapt to the things that they're seeing from their rosters to give them the best chance to win. Passed away from deep three-point range. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. And that's just a really good-looking three-point shot from D. Wade. You have to crowd him as he's rising up for that one. Hayward outside. Here's Bryant. Another miss by Minnesota. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Here's Turkaloo. Doesn't go that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Hayward, the pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Yeah, when Hayward has the ball, he watches all the angles. That's how he finds wide open guys to feed. Offensive rebound. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Bryant. Who oh, trains the 19-footer. Bryant's got seven. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's important to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. And when we take a look at the box score from that game, one of the first things that you'll notice is the number of turnovers they were able to force. Well, all those turnovers made it a scrappy game, which suits them. They caused a lot of chaos with their defense, which played right into their hands. Bryant outside. Pass to Hayward. Here's Lucas. Back to Hayward. Fires the three. He drops it from range. Hayward's got six in the quarter. The deep shooting ability of Hayward is invaluable. A forward who stretches the deep. Here's Wade, covered by Bryant. Here's Gasol, and the layup is good. Gasol's got his second basket of the game. Such a big part of what he does for this team, just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. For Sacramento, they've got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Pass to Barry. Up top, Westbrook. No good on the triple. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. To the paint. Embiid. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. So the Kings making a change here. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. For three, Westbrook. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds in the game. And it's Hardaway on the take. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. Pass to Bryant. Hayward with it. To the inside. Here's Hardaway. Basket's good. Hardaway's got four points now in the quarter. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Timeout called. Sacramento. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, the coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Westbrook outside. Pass to Wade. Here's Coleman. To the middle. And the shot Russell, is good Russell. by Westbrook. Assist Westbrook's line. got 10 points. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. 
Hardaway against Westbrook. And there's just one foul now, Wade, for the middle. Wade, second personal foul, third team foul. Hayward outside. Clock at six. Pass to Embiid. Puts up a three. Barry pulls it in. Sacramento has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Here's Wade, defended by Hardaway. Now here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Lucas. Here's Bryant. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. So both teams changing it up here. The putback. Showing that rebounding isn't all about size. It's about will and effort. Pass to Bryant. Fires from deep. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's Wade. And Embiid with the block. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Hardaway. Irving's checked in for Bryant. Here's Lucas. In his last outing, eight points for him. Pass to Hardaway. Just five on the clock. Here's Wilkins. They get it again. It's good on the putback. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Hardaway, a good look. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Hardaway. Hardaway's gotten his second bucket. Terrific basketball from Wade there to thread the pass to the wide open man for the clean look. Here's Hardaway. Pass to Wilkins. Down low. Second shot opportunity. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. What's well, interesting, you know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, VA, you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status. Is not in the cards for you. <laughs> Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw the same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back outings. Here's Wilkins. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Sacramento has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Dandridge. Collins outside. Inside, here's Gasol. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Back to Hardaway. Pass to Irving. To the paint. Here's Wilkins. Launches it. Shot that time, not on target. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, good whistle there. Free throws good from Collins. The Timberwolves making a switch here, and both free throws good for Collins. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Here's Houston. It's tipped. Here's Barry. He's got 12. Outside Hardaway. There's the triple. Fires in the triple. Hardaway. Hardaway's got five points in the quarter. Gotta love the overall court awareness. Gasol always knows when there's a wide open teammate ready to shoot and sometimes makes a dribble to set defenders up before delivering. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it and he'll shoot one more at the line. 
Minnesota's gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Houston. Here's Wilkins. 17 points for him. Last game against Memphis. And the bucket is good. He's got 14. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. The three, Hardaway, and the Kings with another three. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Pass to Wilkins. He shoots. Barry pulls it in. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Here's Gasol. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Here's Houston. And he converts the layup. Houston. And the Timberwolves lead by 10. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that. And so it's Minnesota earning this break in the action up 10. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Minnesota out in front at the half. They lead by 10. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? Love how hard they're going at it on the offensive board, showing some real tenacity every time a shot goes up. They carve out this lead because of their aggressive mindset. Don't expect that to change in the second half. And over to Kenny now, your take on the Kings. Well, they have to improve their defense. The guys are getting burned on the side. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get it some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And if you're just joining in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Here's Westbrook. Taking a look at Sacramento. They've got Tim Hardaway. Also Russell Westbrook out there. And it's Gasol in at the center position. Here's Barry. Six on the shot clock. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The first free throw is good. Hits both from the stripe. And now the Timberwolves with it. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Hardaway finds Bryant. Now Embiid. Checked by Gasol. 13 feet out. And Gasol with the block. Gasol did not stop moving his hands there, especially as the shot was going up. Always going to be right there to send anything back if it's close. Here's Hardaway. And that one goes. He's shooting five of nine in this one. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Back to Bryant. Let's it fly. And that bucket makes him six for ten of the contest. Sacramento has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Hardaway. Gasol up top. Here's Barry. Oh, a heat check there, but it's off target. As they're doing strong work on the glass, a plus five advantage for them. 11 feet out. Hardaway shot is good. And now a 10-point Minnesota lead. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Bryant, and score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting 3 out of 4. That one goes in. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got 12 points. Well, Westbrook's so ferocious going to the rim. You have to defend against that first and foremost. But when you do, what about the pull-up? You got nothing. Back to Hardaway. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to 
shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Embiid against Gasol. Six to shoot. Out to the right wing. Here's Westbrook. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. There's sometimes games where Westbrook takes personal challenges at the big guys. Wade, he's checked in for Hardaway. And Minnesota calls time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Pass to Wilkins. From the top of the key. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Westbrook finds Ibaka. And an emphatic jam on the lob. Great to get Ibaka involved at the rim. Build his confidence. He's such a big target down there. Pass to Wilkins. And here's Bryant. Clock at six. For three, Hardaway. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. The lead now cut to single Powell digits. Gasol. Gasol's got 10. I mean, is it fair that Pau Gasol can stand on one block and rebound on the other? That's the length. Back to Bryant. Pass to Embiid. 4-3. Westbrook with the rebound. For Sacramento, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Here's Wade. Five points in the game. Over Bryant. Wade misses. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Here's Hardaway. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. Sacramento has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. A clear look for Westbrook. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Westbrook's got six here in the quarter. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Hardaway. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Gasol's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And that one's good, Barry. Nice job by Russell, just not forcing anything on that play. And Minnesota calls time here. A group of teams that love to run. The NBA leaders in fast break scoring. Number one, Minnesota. This squad loves to run. Their coaches allow them to play quick, free basketball, and it shows up in their fast break points. The offensive rebound. Lucas can't get it to go. Sacramento has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. And here's Westbrook from the arc. That one doesn't drop. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Down low. Here's Embiid. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. He can be such a physical force. It's so hard to keep Embiid from getting to the free throw line. So the Kings making a change here. Barry. Tipped. Outside Hardaway. Here's Bryant. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Minnesota. I mean, those swats, <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Westbrook outside, puts up the eight-footer. And he hits the Russell, jumper. Westbrook. Westbrook's got eight here in this quarter. Russell bringing the pulse to the game tonight on the offensive end. No signs of him slowing down. Hardaway finds Embiid. Here's Kemp. Drops in the layup for two. And the Timberwolves lead by six. 
When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Pass to Wade. Here's Barry. He's got 17. And stolen by Hardaway. The finish! Rips down the breakaway slam. When you get a chance to run the floor like that, you have to capitalize. Great hustle on that play. Westbrook outside. Fires the three. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to Embiid. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Well, when it comes to the timing, Serge Ibaka has that in spades. What a great sense for blocking shots. And Minnesota calls time here. Timeout call for Minnesota. Five to shoot. And here's Bryant outside. The shot off that time. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. And when Wade gets out on the break like that, he can still definitely rise up to the rim. Here's Irving. Oh, Westbrook with a block. Pass to Barry. Here's Wade. Out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves ball. And let's see what the Minnesota Timberwolves have coming up. On Thursday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Chicago going up against the Bulls. And then on Friday, they head back home to host the Washington Wizards outside Irving. And he lobs it up. The ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. On the wing, Irving. Shot clock at six. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Barry, covered by Bryant. And that one's good, Barry. And now just a one-point Minnesota lead. Yeah, there was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Here's Dandridge, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, that was clearly a foul. And it's tied up with that one. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. Minnesota's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Bryant on the drive. Pass to Hardaway. To the inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Kyrie, certainly one of the draftiest players in the league with the ball in his hands. Just a nightmare to defend, especially in space. Hardaway's checked in for the king. Westbrook outside. Here's Barry. Takes the three. Now with a rebound. Hardaway against Hardaway. Kicks it out to Bryant. This one for three. They get it back. Here's Yao. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And the Timberwolves lead by three. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Here's Hardaway. Kemp with a rebound. Well, the Timberwolves shooting a solid 53% from the floor. On the wing, Irving. Pounded by Westbrook. Westbrook comes with a double for three. Hardaway kept alive by Minnesota. Kemp, good. He has six. Well, recognizing the size mismatch and then turns it into an easy basket there. They've got to do a better job with defensive help. Ibaka's shot is off. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Oh, incredible! Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome! Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. It's deflected! Hardaway against Irving. And the shot goes in. Irving's gotten four this quarter. 
things are starting to come together for them. And the lead is starting to grow, too. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. And so it's Minnesota. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Kemp. Checked by Gasol. Irving with it. Up and over Hardaway. Gasol grabs the board. Gasol's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And for the Kings, they've got Serge Ibaka. And it's Hardaway in at the one. Are you surprised that Dwayne Wade is going to score that far in the paint? I'm not. Here's Bryant. Outside for Irving. Tries again. And he takes it up and lays it in. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Collins outside. Here's Gasol. The shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Got it. And it's an 11-point Minnesota lead. You just never know where the shots are going to come from, from Kyrie on the inside. So creative with his finishes. Pass to Ibaka. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Bryant. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Fouled on Hardaway. And he just powered through contact trying to complete the play. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Collins with it. Picked up by Embiid. Collins, no good. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. So he gets them both. For Sacramento, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Hardaway, the pass to Collins. Back to Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Looking to win the run. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Joel and B. That one's good from Hardaway. And so he makes both from the line. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Pass to Wilkins. Now here's Bryant. Here's Lucas. And that one's good. Irving. Irving's got six points in the quarter. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Here's Wade. And it's going to be a three-second call. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Irving against Hardaway. Outside Irving. The three ball. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first period. He finally drains one. Timeout call. Sacramento. Attention fans. It's time to fire off some teasers. Fans, give a round of applause for your Timberwolves dancers. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Barry. The three. Rebound Minnesota. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Hardaway. Here's Wade. Gasol with it. 
He's guarded by Irving from six feet away. And it's oh, Gasol beautiful. with the bucket inside. Gasol working on the block, always patient, surveying. Good job getting deep that time. Irving, the pass to Embiid. Pass to Wilkins. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Here's Wade, covered by Bryant. Wade misses. Minnesota has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Wilkins. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Sacramento has gone five of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Gasol. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Now Bryant. He shoots it. Gasol grabs the board. Here's Wade. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Assisted by. Now the Timberwolves with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Irving. Gasol grabs the board. Gasol's. And he drives in. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Love to see some trademark Dwayne Wade aggressive slashing to the basket. Three-pointer and B. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Bryant's got three assists now in this one. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Kyrie Irving. And he knocks down the first one. Second team foul. Hardaway hits them both. Minnesota's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Back to Irving. Here's Lucas. That's Ibaka defending. And Bryant, here we go. And the layup is good off the glass. Bryant's got 21. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Here's Lucas. Embiid. Great positioning on the putback. And the Timberwolves lead by 17. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Back to Hardaway. Launches a three. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Wilkins. So the Kings make it a change here. Westbrook checked in. First free throw is good. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Hardaway's checked in for the Timberwolves. Here's Wilkins. Just flawless timing right there, right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Here's Gasol. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Gasol using the shot fake, effective at getting the defender up in the air, and the rest of it was a cakewalk. Minnesota has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Hardaway, the pass to Embiid. Bryant with it. Six to shoot. Pass to Lucas. Gasol grabs the board. Gasol's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Here's Wade. Offensive rebound. Bryant outside. Now Embiid. Yes, sir, and it's Bryant picking up the assist. Embiid's got seven points for the quarter. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Timeout call, Sacramento. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second-chance points. 
That's going to be the main topic during this timeout. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Yeah, he really got after it tonight. I mean, they ask him to provide a big chunk of the offense, and wow, he responded. The defense had no idea how to contain him. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Here's Wade. Sacramento again missing. The Timberwolves shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Lucas. Here's Wilkins. Here's Hardaway. Arnani pulls it in. The Kings have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. And here's Westbrook from the arc. The shot won't fall. So Minnesota will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to Wilkins. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. Hammers in the reverse slam. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Bryant with it. There's a minute 26 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Embiid passes to Bryant. Misses the three. Used the pump fake well, but he couldn't capitalize. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Timberwolves. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Graham. Yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. Pass to Wilkins. Back to Bryant. To the middle. Embiid finds Bryant. And here's Hardaway. Embiid with it. With the fadeaway. Bargnani pulls it in. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Wade. And he Dwayne drops it Wade. in from the low post. Well, Dwayne Wade has taken Russell, thousands Russell. of shots where he's been challenged, and he's made them just like that. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Lucas. Bryant outside. Embiid passes to Bryant. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of.